Hi there, people. How are you doing? It's Saint here. In this video, we're gonna learn about the edit joints and the filters. Keep up and follow me. This luminaire lights this table. Let's double click on it. And this is how it lights it. But what if I wanted to light this spot while staying in its place? Means that I want it to I want the light to go this way. The thing that comes to one's mind is to go and change the rotation. It's completely true. But there is an easier way to do it. It's the edit joints. So, you can set the illumination point. For example, I want it, I want to aim it to this point. I just go, click on this one, and then, boom! It's just so efficient, so easy, so fast. And make sure you have the show light visualization turned on. You can reset your angle, you can set it to this table and it shows you the shadows, it shows you everything. You can also change the aiming point by changing this numbers. Let's make it 10. If you know the exact point you can do it this way. Let's make it zero or maybe let's make it three ten okay let's make it one this is how it looks like but that looks doesn't recognize if this luminaire is adjustable because there is not something on here come and see this luminaire for example this one it has this joint which means Dialux knows it's an adjustable luminaire that we use to highlight stuff, I don't know, the bands, a plant, a painting, a photo, I don't know. Let's use it to highlight the logo of my channel. So we can just go to the 2D view for a more accurate visualization we can do it this way and you just go to the edit joint and then you click on this point but the thing is that it is aiming to the ground see it is going to the ground for us to change that we can just make it a three. No, not three. <laughs> well, seven. That's so good. We can do it manually as well as we can just set an illumination point and boom. Now that you know how this joints work, let's go and take a look on filters. Filters. Let's just take this luminaire for example, let's move it to our kitchen, this way, and let's reset the angle, and it's just something like this, let's maybe do something like that for you to see the, the difference. We'll go back to the filters we select. I have already used these two ones, but well, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the history. Yeah, I'm gonna go and select the luminaire again. No, please. Catalog and then filters. 
You have four categories of filters, color effect filter, color correction filter, high temperature filter, film and stage lighting. Let's take, for example, high temperature filter. And then maybe let's take this one. Transmittance is 42.95%. Apply. And then, can you see the change? Let's change the percentage of our transmittance. And it changes, the light changes too. And then apply. We apply it, we can run the calculations. And if we don't like this one, if it's not the right filter you want to use, you can just go and click on delete the filter and it's all right. That's it for this video guys, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.